Greetings! Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think my, my brain is gonna fall out of my head. <laughs> the time is literally just, I, don't, I cannot fathom where it's going. However, I was able to finally stop adding stuff to these, which I originally, I was telling Priscilla, yeah, these are gonna be uh, simple, they're plain, they're not gonna have any decorations, just gonna be plain pages, which, uh, I did leave plain pages. Um, I did leave them kind of simple, but I just kept adding all these fun little details because I just couldn't stop. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when Christmas time gets here, it's just, super fun. Like, I don't know, I can't help myself. So I got a little set of four. Um, I was happy to do this because, you know, most of the year I've been doing custom orders and I do still have a, a few custom orders on standby. Um, but I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time to just make some things. And I'm happy that, um, those, those gals are, that are waiting on standby there are super patient and understanding. And they're just like, April, do your thing. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> So today I have this collection of four Christmas journals. I think I'm gonna do one more specialty one. Um, and that's gonna be it for Christmas and then I'll be moving back on into my custom orders. Anyway, without further ado, why don't we just go ahead and take a look at these. Um, they're pretty similar, minor differences. So I don't know if I'll in depth flip through each one, but I will show you one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna start randomly here. So uh, the first one that I'm picking up is this one here. I <laughs> couldn't help myself. I don't know if you guys remember a year or so back. Um, I don't know, I, I made um, an, a different Christmas collection and I made like stockings for them and I was like, gosh, that was so cute. And so this time I decided, well, you know, I wanted to make something similar so I made these little open, open-faced pouches they're not perfect uh however they are sturdy so for example what i mean by that is like i didn't get them all the way even steven on each one but they are sewn really well i'm pretty sure they're gonna stay together <laughs> um but i just like to do that because i feel like it's a great way to store these if you plan to only use it seasonally um, and you can store it away with your Christmas decor and then you have the pouch to protect it um, so that it doesn't get damaged in any way. All of them are closed with this uh, sheer gold sparkle wired ribbon and keep in mind that it is wired ribbon um, but I did try and cut off any uh, sharp edges that might be at the end here so but you know, just be careful because I don't know if that might shimmy. You can also pull the wire out if you don't want that in there, but really pretty uh, gold shimmery ribbon for the closure on all of them. And then at the top, I made these cute little, just like a little paper packet. And so what's inside, let's see. I'm only gonna take out one because this is gonna take me forever to do for each one, but they're all the same on each one. So this is just a little piece of Christmas uh, paper here and I've coffee stained it, stamped on it and sprayed it, really cute. And then this is a printable from Renee at GT Designs. And uh, she gave me this a while back and she actually, excuse me, motorcycle. She actually still has this in her shop. It came from her aunt's estate. 1961 December calendar, which I thought would be pretty fun to use, especially if you're doing something like December daily, you can use it as a checkoff. Um, and then I just tore it wherever it was actually torn on the print printout. And then same treatment on the back. And then the top layer on this packet is just, I printed on a light card stock, a Christmas uh, postcard, Christmas wishes postcard, a little piece of the embossed like foiled paper that I used inside the journals, two pieces of uh, ephemera. They're both like vintage Christmas photos and these come from Taylor, uh, Taylor made journals, uh, Miss Lorna, and then they all have a little 
punch out of a snowflake there. Not all of them are perfect because my punch is, I think I need to sharpen it, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> all right, so that's the little paper packet that's on top. Also, I made a charm for each one of these and at this time I just latched it onto the top of the pouch, but you could put this anywhere. You can attach it to your journal or put it somewhere else, but it's just a little clip on like this. And then it has like, all of them have similar charms. Um, there's a little pearl, Christmas lights, a little uh, peppermint candy, some beaded charms, a bell, and then this little puffy charm that I made, which is like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, you can move that around or you can leave it attached here onto your pouch or attach it onto the journal. So the journal itself, it's like this. It's soft cover. And in the front, there's this little snowflake here and a little Santa Claus. This one has a red, uh, like a shiny red pocket on it. There's a book page in the back and the fabric is this pretty like gold stars. But, oh my gosh, you guys, this Christmas tree, I can't. But yeah, so these are just some little book pages. You can actually turn it into uh, envelopes or you can use them to collage in your book. Some stitching, of course, as always. Now opening up on the inside, you've got a pocket here in the front with this really pretty eyelet lace and then more book pages, Christmas related. There's some of that embossed paper. And then all of them will have one of these handmade um, shaker envelopes. They've got a sparkly snowflake inside and this there's three that have a hummingbird and two, one that has um, three little leaves in it. And then I just left these open so you can either choose to write inside of here, decorate, maybe draw, do some art, or you can seal it up and use it as an actual envelope in your journal. They all have a little piece of this ephemera from the paper pack. All different, of course. The digital kits, I'll have to link below. I know I use Liana Scrap, but I can't remember each one at this time, but I will try and link them in the description box. So like I said, I did try and leave space still. <laughs> the pages in here are original hand-dyed pages. So these are not copies. I did dye these myself and then I added these little clusters onto some of the pages. They all have one little envelope like this and inside the envelope, inside the envelope is a little kit <laughs> where you can decorate your own um, Santa ornament. It has all the little tiny pieces and I don't want to take it all out because I don't want to lose it. But the sand, this is the little base of the Santa and it's got like his face, his beard, his belt buckle. Uh, trimming for his jacket and a little string to hang up the ornament once you've completed it. So I thought that was so cute. Some old like ledger type. I think that's engineering paper actually. Been th These are um, actually antique. Bible pages. They're from the 1800s, so I really had to reinforce these, but they're really cool. They're from the 1800s. I love these little music pages because I think each one, they all have like these funny, like little <laughs> creepy, like little elf people on them. So <laughs> what is it if it's not a, a tent creepy? I mean, it's me after all, you guys. Hello. <laughs> Some coffee stain pages and some of them have some really cool reactive elements like that paper bag collages this hand dyed paper once again pretty little doily i believe that's tsunami rose stenciling more ephemera little Christmas shopping list, Santa Claus. Lots of fun tabs and stuff on the edges as well. 
So plenty of room to do like your own journaling and stuff. A fun little fabric flip there. <clears throat> I'll have a little gingerbread man inside tucked in there somewhere. How did I have him like that? Just tucked in. I love this page. It would be so pretty to mount a photo on. I did use um, uh, some of the Graphics Fairy also, and I think this might be from the Graphics Fairy. There's my stamp. And I think I already said I did use Liana's scrap also. There's a big journaling card here tucked behind the belly band. And then they'll all have some kind of uh, Christmas card in them that you can use. This one is Santa at the beach. <laughs> So they're all plain and new, so you can send that out to someone if you want. And yeah, so that's that's this one. I'll come up with names on the screen here, <laughs> so you guys know which one is going to be which. All right, so next I will show you this one here. It has the little paper packet here on the top. Same ribbon. Here is the charm on this one. And this pouch is like this. I love it because of the reflective gold. It's so pretty. This one is a little bit more like fun, whimsical with a little snowman on there. Very wintry although they are singing Christmas carols. So you have the snowflake there, and then this Santa, I just made him kind of torn, a little bit aged. And this is a flower doily pocket that goes across the front and the back. So similar vibes, as you can see. There's my stamp. All right, so this will be the next one. Here is the charm. Two red uh, light bulbs on this one. I think it's so cute. Ah, I love it. I love the way these charms came out. <laughs> Here's the pouch fabric for this one. Super cute, like retro looking Santas. I love it. There's your edges on this one. And I did do different um, base edges like on all of them. So like this one was more reds and whites, the one that I just showed. And the first one was more red and green. So there's your Santa and your snowflake, lace doily pocket, fabric pocket in the front. And uh, this fabric is actually the same uh, type of fabric, that plaid, shimmery plaid um, that you saw on the pouch. Oh my gosh, see, look at these guys. Oh, I love them. I think I think I used all that I had. I may have saved one sheet, but uh, I think I used all that I had on that. So sad, but it was too cute. So, fabric flip. There's your Santa ornament packet. I think that'll be a fun little puzzle to put together. There's your Christmas card. Right, so that's that one. And the last one. There's the little packet, so cute. Charm on this one. Looks like this. 
I love these. You can also attach them to your purse. I know I always say that. <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever does, but you could. So here's the pouch on this one, that gold. And then on this one, I actually um, lined it with uh, the red velvet. Um, the rest of them are all lined with the same fabric that's on the outside. It just didn't have enough on this one. So here is your front pocket. Super cute, sparkly, little Christmassy, wintery fabric. The sparkles like kind of green glitter. There's a little lace pocket here at the bottom. Got your little telegrams in there. This one is like this. I like it because the tabs actually kind of match the pouch really well, so that's cute. Here, opening on the front, your lace doily, snowflake, book page, cute ephemera. Christmas card and there's Gingy in the back. So that is the fourth one. Now, additionally, I'm also going to add in um, a little, a little tench of gothic Christmas. Um, so I have these really, really cool stained glass um, covers, but they're Christmas carols. So they're like little pamphlet books. They're so cool. So I'm gonna include one of these. Um, with each of the books, I have four. And then I also have these really cute cherished Christmas Carol books, another like little pamphlet book. So they'll each come with one of these as well. All right, so those are those. And each book will come with those. Now these are going to be listed up in my Etsy shop in the description box and probably on my community board. I've posted when the video and the books will go live. So check there if you're interested. And I'm also going to do a little giveaway. I haven't done one in a while. I love ideals, you guys. I think we all probably do if you don't know what they are. They're super cool vintage magazines. Actually, they, st they kept making these up into the... I don't know if they still do, but I know that they made them up into the at least like 2002, three, maybe four era. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. But these are super cool ones. These are um, older. I know this one is 1981. This one I can't remember. It might be, oh, 94, 1994, which is still vintage. So I have um, two. Look at. I mean, how could you not love these so much? They have fun readings in them. These are nice tabletop. Oh my gosh, check it. You guys, they're nice tabletop. Um, look at that. Tabletop books. Um, you can add them in places where people read, things like that. So that is this one. And this one here is my probably favorite. Ah. Actually, they're all like my favorite. I have so many of these, but I'd like to give these two away. Um, and all you have to do to try and win one is be subscribed to me and leave a comment down below. And I will pick two names randomly and uh, you guys will just have to give me your address and I'll ship these over to you. All right, so... Just a small little thank you guys for always being here, hanging out, and uh, all of the kind words that you guys always leave is always much appreciated. Um, you know, we're getting close to the end of the year, so another one under the belt, I would say. <laughs> so um, again, these are going to be listed up in my Etsy shop, and they'll be there until they're not, and I think that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toot